is one of the coolest things I've seen in nature. Good morning from Hetch Hetchy Valley in Yosemite National Park. Today we're going to hike Wapama Falls. Come join us on this adventure. To start your hike at Wapama Falls, you got to cross the dam and then come through this old tunnel. This lens that I have on the camera sees really well in low light. It's pretty dark in here, but even if these lights were to turn off, you could still see your way easily to the other end of the tunnel. And coming out of this tunnel that's not too long, you get pretty awesome views. Okay, we're going to Wapama Falls, 2.7 miles out, 2.7 miles back. This is bear country, so uh, be cautious. There's millions of people that visit Yosemite every year, and only 1% of those people visit Hetch Hetchy. And you're probably thinking to yourself, that's a pretty lake right there, but it's not a lake, it's a reservoir. So, what is this a reservoir to? This is actually the drinking water of San Francisco. San Francisco has some of the cleanest water in the nation, and this is why. In fact, a lot of cities require you to filter the water. San Francisco doesn't, because it comes from here. So Hetch Hetchy Valley is actually 300 feet below these waters. So in 1906, San Francisco had the big earthquake, they had all the fires, and they kind of said they could have controlled the fires better if they had more water. Water was a big problem. Now this is rattlesnake territory, and I don't know if this is factual or not, but I would imagine they would either attack your feet, your ankles, your calves, kind of the lower legs. So for that reason, we always had Brittany go first because she's got a prosthetic, so they wouldn't bite into anything but prosthetics. So San Francisco had already scouted out this location and pretty much said, we need this location as a reservoir. But the naturalist, John Muir, Muir, however you say it, people say it different, and the Sierra Club fought and said, no, this is a horrible idea. She's supposed to say something cool like a shark attack. <laughs> Good, how are you? You gotta undo the straps a little bit. Brandy's getting her trekking poles right now. Oops, I did it too. So before this was a reservoir, ugh, John Muir said that this place was as beautiful as Yosemite Valley itself. And I most definitely could see why. This place is absolutely gorgeous, even with the valley gone. But with the dam drained and the valley visible, wow. If anybody's losing their glasses, they're right here on the rock, right, uh, right by here, I guess. Come and get them. So definitely bring good shoes. There's a good amount of rocks. And walking sticks don't hurt too for the stability. So John Muir and the Sierra Club obviously lost. And in 19, I'll put it right here, uh, the dam was built. So with the Tuolumne River, which I forgot to mention that, that's what river this is, is the Tuolumne River. With the Tuolumne River dammed up and the valley flooded, it was super upsetting to the public. And this was actually the birthplace of modern day land conservation. Uh, people started to really want to be involved with fighting to maintain land like this and keep it as natural as possible. This is starting to look backcountry wild. Love it. Let's get into it. So John Muir died a year after this was flooded and some say he died of a broken heart. So this trail is rated moderate. I'd say it's easy, however, the rocks definitely make it moderate. I don't know if you could tell how these giant granite cliffs behind, behind me. Ooh, they're big. So the science has been done, and with modern day technology, they can actually get rid of the dam and de-flood this valley, bringing it back to its natural state. So I say to download all trails, and definitely still download all trails, but this trail has been very easy to follow. Uh, so the science has been done, so why hasn't the dam been removed and de-flooded? Probably money, I don't know. So I have no affiliation with these people, but when I was doing research about this place, uh, I found Restore Hetch Hetchy. You guys can check them out. I'll leave them in the description below if you guys want to learn more about how to restore the valley. Uh, it's pretty cool and there's a lot more history to learn about this place. Look, Brittany just noticed this. They're like horse or donkey hooves, but they're like, they've been here for a long time because you can't take any equine out here, I don't think, can you? Huh, a little bit of history there we just stumbled upon. Kind of cool. That's probably definitely from way back in the day. All right, the falls are just around the corner here. There are bathrooms that are uh, at the trailhead. They are very nice and well maintained. They're flushing toilets. Also, parking is plentiful. 
We lucked out big time. Normally parking is like 30, 35 bucks to get in. We got in for free. And unfortunately, by the time this video is gonna be out, the free parking is gonna be done, but uh, we lucked out. Well, I can start to feel the mist from the waterfall. Being out here is absolutely amazing. I could definitely see why draining this would be awesome. The Tuolumne River just raging through the valley, 300 more feet below, how cool. I'd release the crack in my drone, but can't fly drones in national parks. I might actually have to get my GoPro or my cell phone out to film. This camera I'm filming with is not waterproof. And just for reference, uh, there is a good amount of rocks and a little bit of scrambling. There's some steps. So wear good shoes, take your time. Coming onto the bridge at the base of the waterfall, there are signs that say cross at your own risk. FYI, there have been people that have been washed away to their death on this bridge. I'm not sure what the conditions were like on those days, but FYI. I think that was the coolest thing I've ever seen, that I've ever been a part of, that I've ever felt in nature. I think it was this, that you could get so close to it. You could feel it just flowing underneath you. That was awesome. I can't stop filming. This place is amazing. It's almost like you wanna keep it a secret, but at the same time, people should be able to come out here and enjoy it. So hopefully, hopefully a lot of people see this. Hopefully a lot of people can come out here because man, when Yosemite is jam-packed with thousands of people on the valley floor, you come here and there's virtually nobody. So we're heading back. There are the beautiful falls. There's Brittany hiking up and then there's the dam. It does not seem that far away, 2.7 miles. So I'm doing research for this uh, location because initially I just saw a picture of this place and I was like, that's beautiful, I'm going there. But then when I started doing research and I learned about the valley, if the water was drained out of it, we'd have this pretty much twin of Yosemite. And if you just see pictures about it, you're kind of like, ah, oh, either way, it'd probably be okay. And it looks beautiful with water like this. But being here and being next to that waterfall, bring the valley back. It would be really cool if they did that. I hope within my lifetime, I get to see that. So this trail is best hike best hike this best hike to spring through fall spring just started so this video is going to come out pretty soon and when it does that means you guys have plenty of time to come out here the wildflowers are going to start blooming this trail is approximately three and a half hours away from sacramento three and a half hours away from our house our cell phone carrier is t-mobile and we did not get cell phone service uh, coming into the park and in the park just stopping to hydrate oh milk was a bad idea we're about to go into the tunnel, the dam, and then back to the car. So the hike's over with. I hope you're having a really good day. You're awesome. And I hope my video brought a smile to your face. Here, you can look at this while I'm signing off. I really hope you guys get to come out here and enjoy this amazing place. Um, and if you can't, I really hope you enjoy following me, us along. So with that being said, now it's time for you to go have an adventure of your own. <laughs>